Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is going to be your January 2021 general monthly zodiac reading for the cusp of Aries Taurus. You are the cusp of power. So if your birthday runs between April the 16th and April the 22nd, you are in fact a Aries Taurus cusp baby. That means that when you were born, the sun was residing in between two constellations here, okay? In between two zodiacs. So you could possess energies from both of these zodiacs. Nonetheless, um, things are going to be done a little different this year. We're no longer doing you and your person readings for general. All I'm going to do is pull some cards and let spirit guide me. And the reading is going to be about 10 to 15 minutes long. No more than like 16 tops, you know, because I noticed that some of the readings are, you know, they're going a little bit past 15. However, that's like the max we're going to go. So we're going to dive right in so we can get ready or so I should I say so we can begin. OK, we're going to dive right in. Ooh, we're going to dive right in. I don't know, y'all. I'm getting a little heated right now. I feel a little warm. I feel a little warm. A little warm. Nonetheless, Aries Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your um, new year. And I hope you're ready for all the wonderful things to happen this year. For you, remember, stay positive. Lift your vibrations and let go of negative energy. And don't entertain negative thoughts, negative people, neg negative actions. I'll leave that in 2020. All right, y'all. Aries Taurus, energy spirit. What do you have for us for January 2021 for Aries Taurus? What do you have for us? Uh, we got the Taurus energy right off the bat. And we got the um, Aries energy as well. Cool. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This could have a lot to do with confusion or options moving forward, okay? I'm definitely feeling this strong Taurus energy with the King of Pentacles. But at the same time, I'm feeling strong Aries energy with the Page of Wands. Someone could just be realizing their worth and ready to move forward. Could involve a Pisces here with the Page of Cups. I'm also feeling like something is shifting in a good way or something is changing. Can't really tell if it's a good or bad way. <laughs> Not right now, we can't tell. But I will say this. Um, definitely looks like someone is moving forward. I feel like a lot um, or someone is ready to move forward, leave something behind. Something non-supportive. Or they're ready for whatever next, whatever's next. Like they want to... I feel like they want to be free. Like they're tired of being confined or they're tired of feeling like they can't move beyond where they are. You know, I feel like they want to go forward. And a lot of it has to do with them recognizing really in what they're worth. So please clarify the will of fortune energy. So please clarify the will of fortune energy. Okay, so got a few cards here. We have the king of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the... Um, the hangman, the, the the Merlin, which is the hermit card. And then we have the knight of wands. So this this part of you, Aries, Taurus, it's, it's young and it's immature. And I feel like you're going through a dramatic change and a dramatic shift right now. Okay? I feel like the energy that you put out, the actions that you take is changing. You're tired of being stuck. That's why. I feel like it's a very immature energy with the page of wands and the knight of wands. It's very young. You know what I'm saying? And that part of you might just be that young side of you. And you may need to evolve it and you need that help from that Taurus side. You know, that side that keeps you a little bit more grounded as, as opposed to that Aries energy where you want to take flight. You know what I'm saying? Definitely feeling like you're bringing some much needed um, abundance into your life, some much needed um, grounding into your life. Like just making sure that you're secure again. King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Like whatever this is, the stability is long term for you. And I feel like you've just like you've been doing soul searching with the hermit energy. OK, you've been doing some deep, deep soul searching and it's time for some change to take place. Spirit, please clarify the page of wands energy. Spirit, please clarify the page of wands energy. OK, so we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Shadow card. Definitely feeling like, you know, you have something to prove. I feel like you've been pretty toxic to yourself. These energies that you've been harnessing, this recklessness, you've been toxic to yourself. So you got something to prove to yourself or to a water sign. Could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Definitely getting strong. Pisces vibes with the Page of Cups. Okay? I feel like you got something to prove. I'm not toxic. I could deal with my demons. I could deal with these, you know, this shadow energy. I'm not toxic. I'm, I'm approved to you that I'm not, you know? Like, I feel like you got something to prove to somebody. 
So we have, please confirm the page of cups energy. So we have, please confirm the page of cups energy. There goes that. Mm. I'm telling you, man. You got the empress, the de the death card, and you have the star card. Mm. You had an epiphany. You had an epiphany. Could be about a water sign. It could be. Or you could have this dream to establish something with this water sign, with this uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. More so Pisces than anything else. Um, I just feel like the dream come true or cleansing. Like, you want something to end. You want something to be what you want it to be. You want that dream, you know? You want you want that so you know that something's got to end. You know that you have to change. You have to grow. You have to grow. You have to, you know, shift that energy. Spirit, please clarify the King of Pentacles energy. Please care, clarify the King of Pentacles energy. Thank you. We have the Two of Wands, the Two of Cups, and we have the Knight of Swords. So there's something that was said to you. You know, it was about you needing to get your shit together. Like somebody told you, get it together, period. I feel like it was maybe a relationship. You know, maybe you are in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, not necessarily, or maybe it was just someone who really cares a lot about you. They shared their heart with you. You know, that's that could be that queen energy. Could also be um, water. Could also be water in their um, moon or water in their Venus. You know. Anyway, I feel like there was something said to you, and it cut pretty. It cut pretty deep. It cut pretty deep. Two of wands, two of cups, and it's like you want this individual in your life. You know, you want them to move forward with you. So it's like I gotta make some changes. Spirit, please clarify the three of the three of wands energy. Please clarify the three of wands energy. Putting things into perspective. Not wanting to let go, but making a change. Bottom of the deck, five of swords. See, I feel like you you're confused because whatever they said to you made you feel bad, like made you feel defeated, like they made you feel small. But it was what you needed to hear. It was what you needed to hear to get your shit together to move forward. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. There's a lot invested in you. They have a lot invested in you. You may have a lot invested in them. You know what I'm saying? So you really, whatever was said, if it kind of caused you to put things into perspective with the Queen of Swords energy. And now that you have things into perspective, you're ready for growth. You're ready to move on. Okay? You're ready for that rebirth. It's time. It's time. Pentacles, five of pentacles, long-term stability, changing the way, changing your morals. See, that's what I feel like. Somebody's definitely changing their their values. Like things that were important to them are no longer important. Like you used to be alive, loose cannon. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like I got a family or I want this individual in my life. I gotta get my itch together. I can't lose this person because I'm immature acting, you know, or I'm reckless. Spirit, please confirm the will of fortune energy. Spirit, please confirm the will of fortune energy. Spirit, please confirm the will of fortune energy. Yeah, it's a lot coming at you right now. It's a lot coming at you to change. You know what I'm saying? To make that long-term change because your energy is toxic. It's, it's unhealthy. So what you're putting out is unhealthy and you need to transform. It's time for a transformation. So I know it's a lot coming at you. It's a lot to change. It's a lot to deal with. But again, it's necessary because like I said, it's unhealthy. For you, it's unhealthy for people around you. Spirit, please confirm the page of wands energy. Spirit, please confirm the page of wands energy. Spirit, please confirm the page of wands energy. We have the King of Wands, we have the High Priestess, and we have the Nine of Swords. Definitely feeling that vibe. Higher self, um, growing in that energy when it comes to your recklessness, that's what that's what he's about. That's what that King of Wands is about. Because this individual, like, I feel like they love you. You know, I feel like they care so much about you, and what you're doing is just unhealthy with the whole situation. Like, I feel like you tend to do things that you're regretting this. You know, like you do a lot of things that you regret later on. And it's time to grow. It's time for you to embrace that energy with the king of wands. High priestess, higher self, connecting with higher self. Recognizing, you know, doing things out of love. Spirit, please confirm the page of cups energy. 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 So we have ten of pentacles, six of pentacles, and we have the knight. I'm sorry, the king of cups. So definitely, like I said, change healing, growth, long-term stability, making things right, balancing things out, giving what you're getting, getting what you're receiving, like giving back to those who are giving to you and vice versa. Definitely feeling really strongly here that you could be dealing with a water sign. I just I just got that vibe. Could be a can't, I'm sorry, could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. I'm actually getting Scorpio vibes more too now. 
And that long-term stability and making it right, like that's what you want. You want growth with them. You know that with them, things grow. You know, things are fertile with them and that's what you want. That's, exa that's exactly what you want. Spirit, please confirm the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Spirit, please confirm the King of Pentacles energy. Spirit, please confirm the King of Pentacles energy. We have the Three of Wands again. Spirit, please confirm the King of Pentacles energy. The World card. <sighs> it's time for a completion. It's time for you to grow up, baby. It's time. It's time for you to leave things behind. It's time for you to invest in your growth. Invest in this relationship on a deeper level. It's time for you to realize that, you know, this part of you is done. It's over. Spirit, please confirm the Three of Wands energy. Hierophant, take the higher road. Yep, yeah, Will of Fortune again. Like, you definitely... Spirit, you yeah, Page of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, Temperance, Healing and Balance. I can't say this enough to you guys today. Like, I just keep feeling this strong vibe that a lot of people are moving away from like really unhealthy energies really like toxic situations within themselves not just where they you know who they with and they're just wanting to grow and wanting to stabilize things especially after what we went through in 2020 everybody's looking for a way to make some money and to grow and i feel like this person or this individual that you're dealing with they want nothing but the best for you and they know what you're trying to accomplish requires you to reach a higher level it requires you to reach a higher level of consciousness. So they know that it's a struggle for you, but again, they're here to support you and they know you got to leave some things behind. You know, taking that higher road, like I said, that hierophant energy, you know, making those authority decisions, making the decisions over yourself so you can make those, those decisions over family. It's a change for the better. Like I said, it was like an epiphany moment for you. It was like, I'm better than this. I I know I'm better than this. And that's that's the vibe that I'm getting. It's definitely the vibe that I'm getting. We're going to get our oracle messages on the table so we can wrap up. <laughs> this Aries Taurus reading. 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 <laughs> so here are any oracle messages for the cusp of Aries Taurus? Any oracle messages for my Aries Taurus cuspers? Teaching. Mm, does she? I think that he or she is teaching you something valuable. I do. Duality. Balance. I'm telling you, I knew that because... That's higher self. You cannot function at your highest self if you don't balance your yin and your yang. It's like you can't. It's like you... And, and what I mean by that is the higher self has to be able to understand lower self in order for you to balance. If you don't understand or conquer or, or realize your power, it will take over and then you're no longer balanced. Spirit, any more oracle messages, please? And then we have creativity. I'm telling you, you want more. You want more stability. This is what this, this feminine energy does for you. This feminine energy helps you grow. Be more creative. You know, that's the empress. Spirit, it could be a Libra. Spirit, please confirm me. I'm sorry, no, Spirit. Any more oracle messages? Thank you. We need two more oracle messages to wrap up this reading today. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we have reunion of souls and integration. So I'm definitely getting this vibe. Let's see if there's any more cards. Okay. And, and abundance. See, it's all about the money. Like, it's all about creating that stability. It's so important for you. You have Aries and Taurus. Stability is everything to earth signs. You, you can't tell me I'm wrong. It's everything to earth signs. And you want that. I get that. But I feel like your person was sent here. Like, recognize this about them. I feel like soulmate, twin flame, more twin flame than soulmate. I'm going to be real with you. It's twin flame energy, definitely. Because they were here to awaken you. They were here to help you, to see more in yourself and what you're capable of. And this is why you're about to grow past this. And I feel like integrating this change into your life is going to be difficult for you, but you got it. You got it. All right, my Aries, Taurus, Cuspers, that is it for your January 2021 Zodiac reading. Hope you guys enjoyed. If this reading has resonated with you, please be so kind as leave a comment down below in the comment box. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications and hit that like button. If you're looking for a private, personal, more in-depth reading, you can always email me, theblackcosmicculture at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below for you guys. Don't forget to check out my daily tea and tarot right here on my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share with your friends, share with your family. And I'll check you guys next month. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>